I'm Stone Away here, and today we're going to be going over the Shaman V Star collection box. It's a little bit torn. I'm a little bit torn from behind. I can't say curse words now because of YouTube, but hopefully I'll get demonetized. So. Here it is, the Shaman V-Star Premium Collection. This should run you, I believe, about $34.95 MSRP. Could be close to about $40, not 100%, but I believe $34 is the right price. If you haven't seen, uh, I did a Scranton video where I went to different places like Walmart, Target, GameStop. I think I went to Dollar General for God knows what. And uh, this is where I picked it up. I got it out of a Walmart. And hopefully I won't get being boozled and because uh, it's a little torn. So hopefully it's not resealed. I don't know if the pull rates for this product are that great, but I guess we'll be taking a look. So let's get this bad boy open. Seems pretty easy to open. So that's a little scary. Uh, throwing the cardboard on the ground, I guess. Opening this up. A V-Star marker. I didn't realize they put that behind there. But we got the Shaman V-Star card. I believe this you could get in the set. I'm not too sure if this is actually a promo or alt art of the promo. No, you can get in the set because you can see the set number right there. So nothing special about this card. You also get, also get this. A Shaman V card. Uh, the basic V and dear God, this is fucking bright. So... Not bad condition. Uh, I think these are only worth like a dollar or two. These aren't worth a lot because one, Shaman's not playable. Two, who gives a fuck about Shaman? Fuck you! Next, we got the Shaman V Star Jumbo Mumbo Jumbo card. A pretty cool card, I guess, if you like jumbo cards, but not really worth anything. It's it's nice to feel the texture, I guess. These are pretty cool. I normally don't like touching the cards. Like, I would never go like this to any of my regular cards. But when it comes to jumbos, it's not like they're worth anything. Imagine that comes to bite me. <laughs> they're worth, like, millions. I don't know. But anyways, let's see what we got we have jesus all right we have four astral radiance packs two fusion strike and two lost origins so eight packs in total not bad for 34 bucks i guess well think about it now that's like 30 eh, that's four dollars a pack so maybe that is bad i don't know but I guess we'll start with Fusion Strike, because why not? There's no Trainer Gallery card, or Trainer Galleries, I guess, in Fusion Strike. We don't have anything. If we don't get anything, either that Walmart was a bust or what, I don't know. I don't even want to blame it on this box if we don't get anything, because... Actually, wait, no, that was a different Walmart. Ugh, what, am, what the hell am I thinking? But all all Walmarts are the same, so Jinx looking to suck your dick. Uh nothing. So unfortunately we're not gonna get anything out of the fusion strike packs. Let's go into Lost Origin, which has been a pretty valuable set as of late. Uh apparently a lot of people are wanting to get their hands on Lost Origin. The cards are worth a lot especially from the trainer gallery and nothing so three strikes already so we should be out if this was baseball and we got a hit though so hopefully maybe get something again i don't know the pull rates of these types of products but if i had to guess i feel like they should be good uh but I don't know. I've never opened any of these types. We got a reverse hollow Pikachu, 
and a Aerodactyl V-Star. So a card I already have, but still pretty cool, I guess. All right, getting into Astral Radiance. I feel like we should have at least two more hits, I feel. But knowing Pokemon, we're not going to get anything. You're going to make me act up. <laughs> um, what the actual fuck? Okay, Reverse Eevee, which is pretty cool, and a Rainbow Typhlosion V-Star. What the fuck? And this is from a code card that wasn't supposed to get a hit, so that is really interesting. Uh, what a cool card. I don't think really rainbows are that desirable, but a Typhlosion, so damn. Wow. Three more packs. And nothing, but I guess anything's possible at this point. No, nothing's possible at this point. Two more. Oh my god. Where is the lip? Oh my god. There we go. Side. Oh god. Alright. Come on. Nope. Nothing at all. One last pack. Can we get something? No, we cannot, but who knows? Uh, we got a Origin Form Dialga V. So this is, wow, this has been a really strange opening because, again, these are supposed to indicate that there are no pulls, that you're just going to get a reverse hollow. So, wow. Uh, interesting. Very interesting. So out of eight packs, this is what you're looking at three pulls and then obviously the two promo cards i guess you would say but uh eight packs with three pulls that means you missed five times no trainer gallery cards of course because when do you ever get trainer gallery cards they don't help whatsoever but i guess not bad for a 34 four dollar product as always thank you so much for watching hopefully this was semi enjoyable if you like these box openings i guess as far as product coming out i know the clara and the cyrus milk cartons are now for pre-order on gamestop which is pretty cool i plan on getting two of those whether or not i'll do an opening of those i have no idea because they're notorious for shitty pulls you never ever get any good pulls from a milk carton uh the marnie one had no pulls the juniper had no pulls and uh basically we're gonna see you know i don't think they're gonna have any so i might just buy them to keep sealed uh but i'll be looking at some openings on youtube to see if there are any pulls for that as far as availability of that product and whether or not it'll be valuable it's a little you know here and there because again they're releasing two at a time so there might not be a lot of like each there might be you know one print run of these so like the juniper one it got i think it was printed twice or actually no maybe once but it's printed so much that no one gave a shit the promo card was only worth like five bucks if that now the marnie one was printed once and it got printed not a lot so the promo card itself is worth like 30 bucks 35 dollars so with this it might be printed the same as the juniper one but because it's two different ones they might have you know that same amount as the juniper one so they might be you know cut in half as far as availability which might increase the value of it not a hundred percent but i guess we will see when the time comes Love. exciting and new come aboard we're expecting you Life's sweetest reward